So now we gotta heat this sucker up, huh? Yeah, we're gonna head to the fire with it. We've got our design cut in. We're gonna make a little bed for it right in there and make sure it's level so that the handle can heat up evenly. Does that soften the metal or what does the heat do? Exactly, it okay. uh, gets it to a, a malleable temperature to where it'll move like clay almost. Wow, okay. Yeah. yeah I guess you don't want it too hot and then it's... Exactly, like if you get it too hot, you can burn them. This thing will just melt that uh, railroad spike completely into wow. nothing but a blob of metal. Wow. If you can, if you get it too hot, so you really have to. It's one thing with blacksmithing; you really have to watch the metal, and and there's a there's a, a happy medium there. You 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 get it uh, too hot, it'll burn up, uh, not hot enough, and it won't bend and move yeah. like you want it. So to. you kind of gotta kind of play with it and find the sweet spot. Exactly. Okay. And over time and experience of looking at it, and it's all done by the eye. Really? Yeah. You just yeah. get a feel for it. Yeah, get a feel for it. And uh, so I'm going to turn up the heat here. And uh, I'm going to take it out right here and just show you a little bit about what we're working on right here. Ooh, okay. yeah. We're just, wow. uh, we're getting to a point now to where that's, that's a good working uh, color. If you'll notice, it's a, about the same color as the fire that it's right. in. Right, yeah. And uh, you know, you can work with it right there. You have a little time, you can, you can do things. So are blacksmith's thumbs just flat as they can be with all that hammering and uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the they, accuracy, you know? They, they start off um, pretty sore. <laughs> uh, and then you just build a tolerance for it, I guess. And we're going to work on the bevel. And that'll help us in the grinding process. We don't have so much to grind. Kind of thin out that knife edge. Yep. Yeah, how in the world do you come a, become a blacksmith? I mean, you, you got to make a lot of mistakes along the way, I imagine. Exactly. It's uh, if you if you don't learn from someone that knows what they're doing, you're going to make three times as many mistakes. <laughs> um, if you do learn from someone, you're just going to make half as many. You yeah. know, uh, <laughs> it's it, you're going to make mistake, mistakes regardless. So uh, you just have to get in there and and beat on metal and heat it up, and then you learn. Uh, yeah. There's nothing in a book that can teach you. You can read about it. Um, it can give you some ideas, but there's nothing like hands-on putting it in the yeah. fire and seeing what it does. Google will only get you so far. It'll only get you so <laughs> far, that's for sure. 